take the revs up to like 3,000 revs, okay? I'm just driving, I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving. I see someone here, he's like, oh shit, he wants to race, yo. The boost is there, see how it picks up? Maybe you can knock a few things off, you know what I mean? You can be like, oh shit, have you changed the cam follow? He's like, eh, what's that? Like, oh, bro, watch H4 talk. Yo, what's this guy doing here? Look at him, see? Where's he going, bro? He wants all the smoke in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, sunshine. <laughs> what the fuck, yeah, monster? I want to take <laughs> If it starts, do, 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 do. bro, you'll have their system out the window, bro. You might as well just be driving GTI. And instantly, the car wants to do a burnout, but the Haldex system kicks in and it's like, no, no, right? So you get a little scratch. I'll show you again. Welcome back to the video. So, what should you look at when buying this car? What's the main thing? So, the, there are five things, right? Five things that you should consider looking at when buying this car, right? So, I'm just going to uh, show you. Uh, this is not one of the five, all right? This is just a uh, a thing that will happen. Come on. It's like a common issue. Yeah? This car doesn't have many issues, all right? But the main one will be this one, okay? So what's gonna happen is, is that when you use your rear wiper, this thing here is gonna be clogged, okay? Already, I've replaced this one. And you can already see like little rust builds. See that's leaking there. Starting to rust up, man. See, that's the only common problem bro, with this car. This Audi S3, okay? That's the main common one. All the rest I'm gonna teach you, yeah? Are just problems. Well, they're not problems. They're just things that you need to look out for. This here, like three pound, you get two of them. Don't fix, yeah? Really? Right. I'll do them in order, okay? Am I all black? No. Right, so the, the main one, it's the oil pickup pipe. You need to check if that oil pickup pipe has been served. It, service. If you've gone to view a car or if you just bought a car and they've got nothing on the oil pickup pipe, you need. You need. Uh, well, the thing is, most garages don't. Uh, they don't. They don't really replace it. What they do, they'll open up the oil pan, they'll clean it all out, and they'll put it back together. Okay, you need to check if your oil pickup pipe has been cleaned because what's going to happen here is when you're flooring it down on the motorway, this happened in Jeff's car, he had a Mark 5 GTI, exact same engine, okay? So he's flooring it, next thing you know, the oil pickup pipe picks oil up from the oil pan and sends it back into, the, into circulation, okay? Now if your oil pickup pipe is all clogged up, it's not going to pick up any oil. And the thing is with Jeff's GTI, he never... Uh, well he never really cleaned it he was doing about 90 on the motorway in Mexico and then next minute you know the whole car he's dri driving I'm there in the passenger just chilling 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 next minute doom, the whole car just fucking jolted forward the whole car just turned off the, the whole car just turned off and then in the come here, see. in on here the dash here the dash here just says stop, stop, stop. It just beep, 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 beep saying stop, stop, stop. Fucking mental, bro, dude. It's the maddest thing ever. Because obviously, this car is like, if it's an older car, the, the car will just keep running in it and then the engine will blow. But with these fucking modern cars, they have a, it's like a safety system. The car's not gonna run with like, just fucking, if the oil pickup pipe's not picking anything up. Everything in here is just gonna be running without any oil. Then what's gonna happen? Oh shit, yo, your engine all blow. So pretty much the whole car just turned off. That is mental. Luckily we were going in a straight line. Imagine if we were going like round a bend, whole car just jolted forward and just fucking just, just turned off. Just turned off because it doesn't want to go. So as soon as I got, I, I bought this car in November. And now, what month are we in now? So the, let's do some maths. 
Well, not good with maths. Okay, I bought it in November. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fucking hell. I've had it seven months. Seven months of the. And I bought it in November. So I did everything to this car. I changed the belt, timing chain, well, cam chain, the cam. Uh, did I say cam belt? Cam belt, cam chain. I changed the water pump. I changed the oil pickup pipe. Uh, what else did I put? Mm, I changed something else. Yeah, I did something. Like these are things that I can't really do on my driveway. Thing with the oil pickup pipe is you can't really. There's gonna be oil all over the drive. That's why if you are gonna go view one, make sure he has some history of like some service of him, him or someone cleaning out that oil pickup pipe. It's very rare to replace it. It'll be hard to replace it on your driveway. That's why you gotta go to a garage, get it done. That's number one, all right? You gotta check if your oil pickup pipe's been clean or not been clean. Second one, so he was it. <gasps> Come follow up. Okay, now if you're buying a remapped car, like a stage two, then you need to, may, you need to look at your cam follower. I think I still have my old one, Zeke. Come on, Zeke. I think I put it somewhere. A bit somewhere. There she go, man. See, I saved this one because this one's not even that bad. All right. Here is a cam follower, okay? That is the cam follower there. Okay. Now, can you see? See that in there, Sadi? See that just little. You can see that marking in it of that dot. Yeah. You don't have to see it all the way. You can see that in in the yeah. camera. Yeah. So pretty much, this is your high pressure fuel pump. Okay. So what that does, that sits in there. Okay. And then your cam lobe is in there. That's like a. How do I do this here now? I need like a triangle. Okay, pretend this is a triangle, okay? So that's gonna be in there. That fucking tough part. Right, that's gonna be in there like this. Okay, then it's gonna hit this, 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 this. Obviously, it's just gonna roll. Shit example, but that's that. See, the reason I kept this is because this ain't even that bad. All right, that's just the start of it there. And I see that the face of it is still okay. Now, what's bad is thing with this car you can check uh, your cam uh, yourself you can do it yourself I've made a video on the channel pretty much you don't need to take your fat fuel line off you can just leave it on pull the whole system off take your cam follower check it put it back even put the same one back in you just need to check it because what's happened what's gonna happen is now that's pushing there yeah that's gonna sit in there right and what's gonna happen it's gonna have uh, a lump yeah it's gonna start getting a lump that's when you know it's time to get replacing because when it gets a lump that's when it's like oh shit yo that's when that that fuel pump is gonna break through all right yeah, because that metal has worn down okay the metal's gone slimmer and slimmer and that fuel pump is just gonna push its way through there that's when it starts hitting the cam lobe in there then your cam lobe gets fucked and then it's just like metal shillings of this will just fall in there bro right that's like worst case scenario but that is, it's an easy thing that you can check it yourself. That's the, you've got to maintain it, right? Now, if you're going to go view a car, it doesn't matter if he's changed the camera. It's a very easy thing. You just do it yourself. But maybe you can knock a few things off, you know what I mean? You can be like, oh, shit, have you changed the camera follower? He's like, eh, what's that? Like, oh, bro, what change for top? He'll tell you about it. Okay, that's the second thing. Now, third thing, the third thing, so the, why is it? <gasps> Diverter valve, okay. Now, the diverter valve, yeah, uh, diverter valve is not as severe as a cam follower or an oil pickup pipe, but you're gonna know about a diverter valve if your diverter valve's not working because the car is not gonna hold boost up well, okay. Now, say for instance, do you know what? We'll go for a drive and then I'll try and explain it to him, okay. Right, right, right. So the, we're gonna show them how boost works, yeah? Okay, now see this, I'm in second gear, okay? I'm gonna take the revs up to like 3,000 revs, okay? I'm just driving, I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving. I see someone here, he's like, oh shit, he wants to race, yeah? The boost is there, see how it picks up? Right, now I'm in third gear, 4,000 revs, 4,000 revs. 
leave it there. 4,000 revs, 4,000 revs, 4,000 revs, 4,000 revs. See the boost? The boost kicks in whenever it wants. You know what I mean? So the way to test if your diverter valve's fucked is when you hold the revs at a certain point and you put your foot down and it doesn't feel like the car's moving. It's like it's struggling. You know what I mean? I'll try and like show you an example here where, I don't know. Yo, taxi driver on smoke, bro. So I'm holding the revs, I'm holding the revs, and then I put my foot down, it's like, and it's like, it doesn't feel like an S3. You know what I'm saying, Sadiq? Do you get me? Do you get me, Sadiq? <laughs> okay, second gear, build it up, build it up, I know this boost. Yo, what's this guy doing here? Look at him, see? Where's he going, bro? He wants all the smoke in, bro. <laughs> Taxi as well, bro. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> bro, he just started putting his foot down, bro. What the fuck, bro? It's a fucking what is it? That was fucking Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Uncle G, bro, wants all the smoke. Well, yeah. That's not me. Wait, did I explain it as well? Well, I got distracted, bro. But yeah, it's it's when it doesn't hold the boost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think they got it. I think this guy wants to race again. Do you think? Boom, 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 boom. Nice one. Come on, lad. Give it some. Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm fucking sick over there. Right, yeah, that's number three. So that is number three, you see, diverter valve. No. You're gonna know about it because it's not gonna hold boost. Okay, now, number four, Sadiq, is PCV valve. Now, the thing with the cam follower, it'll give you an error code, but it'll give you an error code when it's fucking rammed its way through and fucking up the cam lobe thing with the uh, oil pickup pipe it won't tell you any error codes it will just tell you when your car's just fucked and it's not picking up any oil thing with diverter valve uh, it will tell you error code if this one's faulty uh, but the thing is you can know about it also when your car's just not holding boost now the fourth thing is the PCV valve PCV valve won't tell you any error code ever it'll just be you can have a fucked up one and just be driving with it and it won't tell you anything PCV valve is a weird one because what people do yeah. is they get a fucked up PCV valve and then they put a blanking kit on it. That there is there for a reason, okay, that PCV valve. You've just blanked it off. So where do you think all that pressure is now going to go? That's why, do you know when, if you go to buy a car yeah, and you see this shit on it, you know that that car's probably got a fucking oil leak somewhere or it's got a leak somewhere okay of some sort because what this does this doesn't help this doesn't add any brake horsepower the best thing to get is an oil catch can but like one of these will cost you i don't know about 60 pound or maybe 40 pound depending on i got this one for like 20 pound so this is the cheaper alternative now an oil catch can to eat it's like 300 something pound you can find some for 200 pounds okay oil catch can a bit more pricey okay but the oil catch can is the best thing even i was like that you know i was like oh shit, i'll buy one i bought this when i literally bought the car like two weeks later i bought this i was like then i looked into it i was like wait i'm making it worse bro this doesn't gain you any horsepower this makes it worse you've just blanked off this is there for a reason you've just blanked it off and now where's all that pressure gonna go oh i don't know it'll find its way out bro this is 2007 Put this on this, it's gonna force its way out somewhere, yeah. Yeah, oil catch can is the one now. I I will be getting an oil catch can, but I'll get one when I go stage two. Right now, it's running stage one. When I go stage two, then everything in the car is gonna be working overtime, you know. That's when I'll need it. I don't really need it now. I've got stage one, I could put it in now, but I well, I haven't bought it yet. Okay, don't put that. On. That's why when you go to view a car and you're like, yeah, yeah, it's got one of these. Why are you crazy as hell, bro? 
This is not make any difference. It makes your car worse. That's there for a reason. They put that there for a reason to help the car breathe. You know what I mean? But then sometimes, go watch the PCV valve video. Then you'll know how to how it's a fault you will. Yeah. That's number four. Number five. Sorry. Is what's number five? You don't know. <laughs> I keep asking you. But you don't know. <laughs> right. Number five. Let's see. Number one, two, three, and four. They are things that you need to address, okay? And you need to look at, because if you leave these alone, it's only gonna be worse. See, with number five, it's like, you can still drive the car. Number five is pretty much your Haldex system doesn't work. If you didn't know, this car likes to ride Quattro everywhere. It's not four wheel drive. It runs off a Haldex system okay and what that means is it's front wheel drive when then when the car senses that uh oh shit he's struggling here the rear wheels will kick in okay you with me Sadiq you understand what does that mean Oof. that means it's front wheel drive Sadiq now how do you check it how do you check that the car I'm going to view or the car that I've bought is got four wheel drive easy bro come here Sadiq now I've done a video before right. I'm, not, I'm not gonna do it now If you have a bad clutch Maybe not do this, okay? All you do, yeah, you put it in gear one Yeah You fucking redline it And you just Both Yeah, that's it You get that, Susie? Yeah? The car's not on, yeah? Gear one Bam, 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 bam I'll show you a clip here, okay? Where the front wheels wanted to go they wanted to do a burnout that's why if you've bought a car do that obviously don't do it if your clutch is just fucked then wait but then again why have you just bought a car with a fucked up clutch you know what i'm saying so redline it dump the clutch see that video there that's not a launch okay that is pretty much me just dumping the clutch and instantly the car wants to do a burnout but the Haldex system kicks in and it's like, no, no, right? So you get a little scratch. I'll show you again. You see how it just scratches? It wants to do it because I've just dumped the clutch. The car wants to do a burnout, but the Haldex system's like, no, not today, my friend. I will help you. So that's the way to check. Uh, that's the way, that's, I think that's the only way to check because otherwise you're just running front wheel drive. That's why uh, if you if you dump the clutch and you're starting to do like burnout, you, if you get a bit of a burnout and then it kicks in, oh, turn traction control off. Otherwise your car will be like, what are you do? What the fuck are you doing? You just go, oh, 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 oh. Turn traction control off, don't, just red, hold the clutch. It should just catch. And then the Haldex system kicks in and is like ooh, ooh. Because in that video, that's not like a launch It's just, I've just dumped the clutch BANG! And I've tried to do a burnout But the car's like No, no, no And then it's kicked in bro, save me If you go to view a car, maybe the best Obviously the owner's not gonna like it Maybe the best thing is Just take it for a test drive and then be at the red lights and just like And just kick in If it starts Bro, you have that system out the window, bro. You might as well just be driving GTI. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with GTI. Oh, also, if you got a Mark 5 GTI, bro, same engine. If you've been working on Mark 5, same exact engine. Fuel lines, everything. Everything is the exact same. Mark 6 GTI is a bit different. But, yeah. Sick on there. Huh? I think we covered everything there, innit? Sleep. Yeah. Main one is oil pickup part because the thing is, Unless you've been in the car and it happens, it's fucking mental, bro. The whole car just turn off whilst you're doing it at night. Like, what the fuck? And then it'll be stop, stop, stop. And then you literally just got to stop on the hard shoulder. And then we wait you for like 10 minutes. And then turn down and literally, we have to drive so carefully home. Because you won't really notice it when you drive like 30 miles per hour. It'll kick in when you're bombing it, right? And then obviously everything's working overtime. It's Everything, oh, the whole engine's working, and then obviously, if your oil pickup pipes, 
uh, clogged and then it's not. Nope, not today. Right? I think we covered everything, isn't it, Sadiq? You happy with that? I'm happy with that. That is.